The idea of cooking for people every day like we have the opportunity to in the schools is extremely intriguing because you really have an opportunity to change the way they live their life. You're cooking for them every single day. You're literally cooking for them from the time that they're four years old until they're 18. With Brigade, we're, we're really kind of rethinking the way these kitchens and cafeterias run within a school. We're putting a chef into a school. We're transitioning the food from primarily processed food to scratch-made food, going from processed food that just needs to be heated to preparing food from scratch requires more work. We're also introducing a lot of new foods to the kids. Chicken, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> we, we need to have our I think the food I went up is really good. It's delicious and there's multiple different foods on different days. In the scheme of things, when we already have tons of food waste issues and all these, the, these problems, the idea of opening another restaurant for the sake of opening a restaurant, which I don't really know what purpose it would serve outside of feeding my own ego, it seemed kind of crazy. The idea of tackling a monumental problem like school food, to me it wasn't really a hard decision at all. It's not always going to have tomatoes in it. No. Okay. Some people are going pasta water and then just pesto. The food service program in a school has a budget. That budget is entirely supported by what is referred to as the National School Lunch Program. In the case of last year, $3.31 was the amount of money that came to a school district. That $3.31 needs to support everything. That's for food, that's for labor, that's for maintenance. So in the end, we have about $1.25 for food. But more importantly now, we've added chefs into all of these schools, which sounds great, but it needs to be financially supported within that $3 and 30 some odd cents. So that's really the innovative part of what we're doing. We're trying to prove all of this still works within this budget that every school across the country falls in line with. This is much more meaningful than I would ever have imagined. Every single day, I'm gonna be able to bring something that not every public school system, if any public school system in the country, is able to do. It doesn't matter if you're making the most complex dish that we had at Noma or if you're making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's really what you put into it. We've gone from processed chicken to chicken thighs with the bone in and the skin on and we roast it nice. We serve it with a warm piece of cornbread and roasted carrots. The staff knows how to make it. They're involved in the process and the kids enjoy it. That's a home run. All I can hope is that what we're doing in these schools, it's showing that there's another way to do this. The only way the change is going to affect that many people in this country is if this just becomes the new standard and this is what every company is doing.